two times really a week when we can get you, Max, which yeah. is a treat for us. Very important treat for the for show. Treat for me as well. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, we love seeing you, mate. Um, as you can imagine, this is a rough time in the Gorn household with two kids oh, yes. under three. So oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy to get out. out is great. <laughs> What's today look like for you? Because you are playing tomorrow. No, Sunday. 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 I have a day off today. Do you? Yeah. Nice. I've got what some will errands. You do? I'm, doing the, I'm doing a dentist. Oh, yeah. Good. Uh, I've got a podcast on later on this afternoon. Okay, nice. Jack Watts is uh, oh. former footballer around the yeah, podcast. Jack I often Watts. see him on Chapel Street. You see him with us? <laughs> yeah, is yeah. this a listener one? Uh, <laughs> let's just say yes for the sake of it. Perfect. Um, and then what? An early night? Maybe go out for dinner? Do something with your partner? Then, uh, yeah, then I have to look after the kids at yeah. some point. Nice. Yeah. Free her have probably you, in the afternoon. Are you getting along better with the new one? Not quite. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're not there yet. Yeah, we're not quite there yet. That's, right. yeah. That's okay. You will be. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll get there. I wouldn't use the word love yet. <laughs> Whoa. But so that's important for people to say that, Max. Because yeah. yeah. it can take a long time to bond with We like with each other. Of course yeah. not. Have mm. you said it and lied? Yes. Yeah. 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 How old is... Is this a boy or a girl, boy. Max? Both boys. Yeah, Both boys. boys. Yeah. How old is the youngest? Youngest is 13 weeks. Oh, that's yeah, very right. new. Yeah, we're not yeah. quite there. Hard to love. Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> love anything after 13 weeks. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No. No, 13 weeks. And a lot of it is... And don't... Don't misunderstand me. A lot of the first 13 weeks is mum's job. It's in yeah, terms it, of the heavy lifting, with are, the feeding, and the bonding. And yeah. yeah, there is some stuff you can do, but it's very Absolutely. light. But you're not like kicking the footy. You, I can take you for a half an hour walk, and yeah. then you need yeah. mum again. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, <laughs> it's been a slow progress. And he's, I mean, not boring everyone on yeah. Triple M, but he's yeah. got some stomach issues. Oh, Does no. he? Doesn't, oh. doesn't love his dairy. Oh, oh yeah, that, that oh. sounds like Laws. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's exactly <laughs> like Laws. I need someone to burp me up. Yeah, <laughs> room, yeah. He'll probably be gluten free. Yeah, he's going to be one of those kids. Yeah. No, no, he's going to want to play hockey. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go to hockey games. That's one sport he won't be trying. Uh, three ACL injuries in the first five games of the oh, season. Geez. Kitty Bit Coleman, it. Sam Doherty, <laughs> Josh Gibkiss. Gee, that's bad news, isn't it? Yeah, you were nearly won what last year? Yeah, round one, round yeah, round two, yeah. It, it, um, two. It's that's uh, that's scary, but it's a lot, isn't it? It always happens at the start of the year. Why got, do you reckon? I've Overloading got, in the preseason. I've got much. my own theories yeah. that I don't think everyone. I think the grass is too short early on in the year. Mm. Still right. coming back ah. from cricket, right? Okay. Um, and then also there's just we haven't played for six months, so we're getting used to mm. new conditions and. Back into contact, heavy contact. Back into what contact. is the issue with having shorter grass? I've got no idea. Right. I just think that might be something in play because the uh, grass mm. in the middle of winter is quite long. Uh, right. The two, Coleman and Doherty last week, both at the Gabba. They say the Gabba is a very hard surface, yes. particularly early. You found that as well? Yeah, and then I, I was the Gabba last year as well. Yeah, of course. Right. Um, so it, it's, it is scary, though, but it tends to be just the first two weeks. So let's just hope you can get through the first but two they, weeks. Do yes. they drop in now at the Gabba? Wicket wide? No, no, they don't. They the still don't. It's a real point of so conjecture. So it's still got a hard full yeah. square. Gabba, mm. SCG, uh, Canberra, Alice Springs. And how long Hobart. does it take that square to soften up? Uh, Sydney actually put a bit of grass on theirs for our game. That was nice. But yeah. the Gabba one is just rock hard. Mm. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. They consider themselves a cricket venue. Yeah, right. It right. becomes a real center bounce game because like Oscar McInerney punches the ball forward and then it bounces off the pitch another 20 the meters. The and then it's, it, it's inside 50 straight away. Yeah. Um, hope, hoping to break the most attended first round in history. The record is 400,000. That was in 2017. Mm. Then it dipped a bit, didn't it? Remember the yeah. crowds just drifted away for a little while? 2019 was a big year, I think, and then obviously yeah, COVID. Pandemic. But um, last yeah. year, opening round was the third highest in history. So we um, beat last year. And last night was a good start. Yep. 86. 83. 83, 83 and a half, was yeah. it? Um, Carlton won their sixth consecutive game by under a goal. They're starting to do the sneaky Collingwood uh, win the tight ones. There is a loss in there, though, isn't there? It's just yes, in the, their wins. The, the loss to Brisbane in yeah, the prelim. Yeah, the loss to Brisbane. How did um, you think they looked last night? Actually, I thought Richmond were the better team for a lot of it um, and then lost a few men. Key men. Two tall backs is something you can't really replace. They actually nah. ended up putting their most informed player, Noah Bolter, mm. down at full back, which probably cost them in, in, in the end. Every bloke had a go at Rucky. Yeah, there was, there was a lot of rucks. So, so teams are starting to do this. Like we're doing it as well. Um, other than the number one ruck, the, it's sort of a motley crew who does the other ones. Um, and yeah, last night was Kennedy and Cripps. I think I saw a bit for Carlton and Marlon got in there for Richmond. Mm. You yeah, rucked against Marlon at one point? I've rucked against Marlon. I could feel the whole crowd talking about it. 
Yeah, because well, <laughs> you should be thumping. I him. should be thumping him, and he actually sat up on on my head and jumped really well. But then I yeah, yeah push push bit, push bit him out of the way. Jumping, but... yeah. <laughs> um, Lee Matthews has accused Collingwood of over celebrating their premiership. Of course, they're unfurling the flag later tonight. Yeah. Tonight they're doing it earlier uh, yep. for lots of different reasons. Uh, I think it's at about six thirty. Quarter past six. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's a seven seven forty. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, but there's a whole fan day happening. Yep. So they've got food trucks at uh, Olympic Park, and then you walk up to the venue. You know, it's that'd be great. Yeah. Um, do you, you didn't you didn't really get to celebrate your premiership the way that you may have Ooh. wanted to. I mean, yeah. Perth, you did. Couple Ten- of n- nightclub incidents. <laughs> yeah. But with the fans, because it was pandemic time. Well, technically, we did go for a while because then we had one at the MCG. Yeah, that's right. And we re-celebrated it and it was like we won it again. And that was in pre-season. Mm. Um, no, I, I think this is a miss. I don't like saying these words, but I think it's a miss from Lee. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that. Is no, it um, generational, yeah. you think? Yeah, I, I, I think every team unveils the flag in their first MCG game. I think my, especially teams recently have done a doco that's always got to release in and around the football noise. Otherwise, mm. the doco is not going to get any traction. Yeah. So I, I just find it confusing. I haven't heard anything else apart from doco and flag. Yeah. And that's the two things that I think you're allowed to do. Mm. I think the thing is that moving it that early on a Friday night, it's hard for people to get there. Oh, yeah, in terms of the actual flag unveiling. And the fan and yeah. the actual fans. Because the players, I mean, may or may not be part of that. Yeah. Sometimes they're not even out on the ground for the unfurling. Yeah, what was yeah, your unfurling? No, no we, we, we weren't on the ground. So it was really late hours. So it it's was... really for the fans. Yep. And I reckon it should be closer to kickoff. That's just from a bloke who has no right to have an opinion. Well, there's, a, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of time just before you run out. Of heaps. And we run out with 12 minutes to go. Well, there so you that, go. How, that, how long does it take to unfurl the flag? Yeah, well, it depends how much carry-on there is around it. Well, but just whip it up. Yeah. Salute it and keep moving. <laughs> pretty sure ours, I'm pretty sure ours was late, late in the night. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's come back and talk uh, the weekend's footy. Marty, Max Gore with us. Max with us. Oh, yes. I'm uh, still having, here, yes. yes. Having a day off, which is lovely. Uh, feeling healthy. Feeling, feeling healthy. healthy. Had feeling a good, good. good run yesterday. Had a great run down at God's Country, Casey Fields. Oh, yes. oh. How was the wind down there yesterday? We actually had traffic on the way back. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah, it was a crash around back. the East Link. Oh. Oh. It's a long way away. It's a long mm. drive. Uh, but I, lo- I love it down there. You mate. love it. Of course yeah, you do. Love you love Casey. City of Casey. You Beautiful. careful? Uh, yeah, I, I take Clayton. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Good. Obviously, the seizures, uh, he can't drive for seven months after a seizure or something. Oh, yeah. There are yes. rules around that. He yeah. tried He tried once. He got yeah. in trouble for that. Okay. But, um, right. but, well, it's yeah. good of him to push the edge. Do you have any <laughs> comment on trade speculation, Geelong throwing their hat in the ring for Clayton? Mm. Where's that? Is, is that just someone just closing their eyes and <laughs> yeah. trying to find a club? And <laughs> no, there was a Jay Clark, Jay Clark one, raised it. But it where oh, yeah, have you... You made up with Jay? No. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got a good memory. <laughs> no. Okay. Running a marathon, half marathon on the Great Ocean Road. <laughs> Get in here, you dick. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> He wasn't even meant to be. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he, he wrote an article suggesting that Geelong might be after his services. Yeah, I don't think Clayton's going anywhere. anywhere. Yeah. I think he's I think he's a D. No. Well, yeah, he's, he's I hope eight, he's a D. They've put a lot years. of time into him yeah. and a lot of time into his um, welfare. Yeah. Uh, but he wouldn't be the first bloke to turn his back on a club. It is a business. No, correct. I, 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 and contracts don't really mean much anymore. I, no. I, I, I've, I mean, brody has gone to three clubs in a seven-year contract. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't like him either, mate. Yeah, we spoke about that. I reckon <laughs> you two would, would go well. Yeah. yeah. It's just his Harry Potter glasses. I know we've Why discussed it. Yeah. Just when he puts his glasses on, he thinks he's Clark Kent. Does it he? sounds like Kent. He's in Melbourne tonight. Like we can organise yeah, something tonight. Right, catch no, up. I am free tonight. Should we have a dinner? Yeah. Tonight? <laughs> well, not tonight. He's playing tonight. Oh, he's yeah. playing tonight. Against what? Cheese. He doesn't want to have a beer pre-game. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about with this bloke. Soft. No. <laughs> Soft. Uh, what do we got? Collingwood, Sydney tonight, seven forty. That'll be an absolute belter. Yep. I'm You'd hope Sydney will come out swinging. I'm going Swans. Really? Was, yeah, They'd they still were. be hurting, wouldn't they? They were from unreal two years ago. Mm. Not many unreal. teams bounce back from zero two. It's a, often puts a line through. Well, it. Swans actually are a team that tend to do it a lot. Uh, yeah, they but do bounce. They're on the other foot this time, so I'm going Swans. God, they're an amazing club, aren't they? Yeah, both Sydney teams are flying. And John yeah. Longmire, I know I say it all the time. Mm. He 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 is under the radar as one of the great coaches of all time. Culture, yeah. If Culture. He'd, if he'd won one of those other flags, yeah, he's just he's probably one flag short of yeah. iconic. The Bloods. 
The Bloods. <laughs> the Bloods. Uh, tomorrow, this will be a good one too. Bombers v Hawthorne, and people are saying there's an enormous amount of pressure on the Bombers to win this. Is there? Yeah, because Hawthorne might be a little underdone and a little young. And okay. if the Bombers start their year off with a loss to Hawthorne, uh, that's not how they'll be hoping to start. I don't. Yeah, I don't read it like that. I read Hawthorne as a as a very good team. Um, Knocked off the grand finalists last year, Hawthorne. Yeah, I don't read it as simple as that for Bombers. So don't get too disheartened if they lose this. It is round one. It is round one. Uh, GWS versus the might of North Melbourne. Mm, good time slot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Traditional Saturday, four thirty-five. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, they try it. They have tried everything to bury us, Nick. <laughs> they have tried everything, Nick and I, to passionate North men. I tell you, the time slots they give us are ludicrous. Saturday though. Saturday it's GWS Sunday. up there, whatever they're calling their state. Is NG that, this year. That's NG? the showgrounds, isn't it? Yeah. Ugh, yeah. You, you wouldn't let your dog run on it. <laughs> <laughs> did you um did you send our boy a congrats on his hundredth game? Which one? Zerha. No, because we've got an issue with Cam as well. We should you play the we should play the voice have message. We that? Have we ever played the voice message oh. he left Matthew for not no, for not turning up? No, okay, no, we can't do that. We can't oh, do that. No, this no, 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 no. That one's on me. <laughs> That's a move And on. then he finishes the message by going, anyway, all good. Okay, no, <laughs> not all good. Did we play that to you? Oh, we must have. Yeah. <laughs> We're the same manager. I, I, I like Cam, but he's, he's a obviously. ripper. I've he heard he's a, a great miss. guy. He just had a miss on that. <laughs> yeah. He had a miss. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's okay. We've all done it. Saturday yeah. night, this will be a belter, Geelong St Kilda. This is one of my favourite rivalries growing up. I, yeah. The Geelong St Kilda era. Um, do you remember the Michael Gardner goal when they were both 14 and yeah. 0 at Marvel? 09, famous year. Yeah, so this I hope this will be a similar. Let's start that rivalry again. I'm going to go Geelong. Is that Geelong. stand finished yet? The Joel Selwood stand, yeah, a lot of standing room. So it's, it's, it's the it's, unveiling tonight. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, no. So they've finally finished that. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> in in some sort of And version. what capacity has that improved the ground to? Out, from yeah. and to? Because you can't get in there with Geelong uh, members. Yeah. The joint's always full. It'll be rocking packed. tonight. Uh, yeah, about goal. 36,000, I reckon. 36,000? Up to 40, mm. yeah. Up to 40. That's good. Mm. Yeah, that's a good size stadium. SCG was apparently a sellout and we did 41 huh. in that moment. So it's not far off. Oh, that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's seats too, because you could they can load them into the members. At the SCG? At the SCG. You might not get a seat. <laughs> um, Gold Coast v Adelaide. That should be a belting game too. That will be. Uh, Gold Coast, it's the toughest road trip in the first half of the year you can do. Um, it's very hot, very sweaty. humid, very sweaty. And Gold Coast, my mum was talking to Maisie about it yesterday. He said even they don't like it being fixtured there, but they obviously <laughs> like it a little bit more than um, the opposition team. So that's going to be uh, there. anyone who's got Gold Coast and Gold Coast in the first half of the year. Is that a fly in, fly out? Uh, not at that time. The Gold Coast Airport's got a curfew, I think. Right. They, they, so they'd stay uh, overnight. Yeah, you remember when you're flying to Gold Coast, you, you love your aviation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, you, you're going over houses. By yes, like you are. Yeah, the, the yeah. Uh, northern part of the runway. Yeah. Tugan, I think, is the part of the... And so you're, you're, you're hitting cocktails and yeah. dreams if you're overnight there. Yeah, you are. You yeah. are um, heading down the Gold Coast. <laughs> then we've got the big one Sunday, 1 p.m. kickoff at the Melbourne Cricket Ground, Melbourne taking on the Bulldogs. Yep. This will be a belter. Becoming a bit of a tradition, which is good. This is our maybe fourth or fifth time opening the season with the Dogs. Who worries you in the Bulldogs lineup? Uh, I mean, they've got the All Australian Ruck, so um, good chance for me to bounce back against uh, the best. Well, you uh, weren't well, which you didn't, w which we said on your behalf. Uh, so that helped Brody out. Yeah, he didn't wear his glasses, so that helped him <laughs> as well. <laughs> Who else do you like in the Bulldogs? Obviously, not the coach. I, uh, agree, got with, our, I, I agree with you about him. We've got a. <laughs> <they've> got a <laughs> 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 uh, premiership teammate in James Harms. Yeah, uh, we, get to, we, get, we get to play against him. Um, That'll which, be fun. Will you send him a little message? I think he's the kind of guy who he, who will really want us to get into him. So he might go the other way and Hard just enough. silence and just yeah, just not talk to him at all. You nice. must you must admire the bond. Do you think he's? Just I think about he's the, the best. best player. Yeah, yeah. I was doing this. My father in law's mad Geelong, and he mm. was crapping on about how good Joel Selwood was commentating. <laughs> mm. Um, and we were watching the game last night, and we're doing our best 22 in the last 20 years. Oh, nice. That's and he fun. had Selwood, Ablett, Danger as like the starting three right years. Right, that's silly. <laughs> I had Bont captain, like better than Judd, better than Ablett. That's a big call. Wow. Yeah. I know he's not quite there with the Ablett credentials. But, but he's a massive guy. He's a good player. And yeah. I saw him in the flesh, and I was like, geez, you're sneaky big. Yeah. And he can, he <laughs> yeah. his defense as well, like the stuff he does defensively. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a bull. 
Mm. Um, Port, West Coast, well, I mean, little to no interest from, from me there. Uh, yeah, I think that's. I think it's a port. It's a port win. Port will be good this year. And then Frio, Brisbane. It's. I mean, it's. You'd hope it's Brisbane by how many? Uh, well, I mean, Lockie Neal out. I'm, I'm presuming this is at Optus with yep. Fremantle first, um, and six fifty, which means it's four fifty over mm. there. Is that right? Could be earlier, or is it the other way around? Could be three hours. Six fifty our time. Six. That would be. Yeah, yeah. so three fifty. Three fifty. It's almost a North Melbourne slot. I'll, <laughs> I'll go. I'll go Frio and Brisbane being zero and two. So oh yeah. wow! Oh. Well, you're making both grand finalists to be zero and two. Yeah, oh. which would be interesting. Oh. It opens it right up. Well, Richmond could go zero and three in the first two rounds. Yeah, well, I mean, technically we could as well if we don't if we don't win this weekend. So who we say Rich, Richmond got Port next weekend? Yeah, yeah. yeah. At the G. Mm, G. Um, Max, play well. Thank enjoy you. your day off. Uh, do something for your lady. Yes. <laughs> you know, that isn't just babysitting. Yeah. Maybe well, it's, it's not called babysitting. When no. You're, when it's you're just the, when parenting. Parenting. It's parenting. Yeah. 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 Feels like babysitting. You can, oh. tell, you can tell I've been told to say that line. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's called parenting. It's called parenting, yes. Um, mate, have fun, play well, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.